Hello, Cash here and welcome to another beginner's guide. In this video I will talk about armored fighting vehicles. So what are the armored fighting vehicles and what makes them special? Well, these vehicles possess the highest view range in the game and also they have a special ability which allows you to mark your opponent for 20 seconds and during those 20 seconds the enemy will be spotted and also will receive full damage from whoever shoots at them. Currently we have uh, three lines of armor fighting vehicles in the game and those are uh, BMP development vehicles, recon vehicles and fire support vehicles. Now what are the differences between these classes? Well, BMP development vehicles are not as fast as for example recon vehicles, but they have a very good acceleration as well as uh, recon vehicles do. Fire support vehicles are not as fast as for example recon vehicles and they also don't have uh, good acceleration. It's good enough, but it's uh, the worst from AFVs. BMP development vehicles and fire support vehicles from my opinion are like uh, fast light tanks because they also have a good firepower uh, with, with anti-tank guided missiles of course, with auto cannons the penetration is not so great and also these vehicles are fast enough to move around the map the only difference between lights and uh, these AFVs are that AFVs get better view range and of course the special ability Recon vehicles are the real scouts and that's what I like about them they are very fast, mobile and also small profile which makes uh, harder to detect them and also hard to hit them they can also fight, and they can fight any other classes. Some of them, uh, like main battle tanks, they can't fight frontally, except with anti-tank guided missiles. There are also some light tanks and of course AFVs that you should avoid, because they have a frontal armor. If you can't penetrate the main battle tanks even from the sides, I would suggest that you simply switch to HE shells. HE shells don't need to penetrate the armor to deal the damage, and they also are breaking the enemy's modules. But the rest of the vehicles they can destroy even with their auto cannons. And I definitely like to find my window and flank where I can get to, to the artillery. Taking out artillery, from my opinion, is a very important aspect of the game. Because uh, most of the times artillery are focusing on your uh, main battle tanks and you do want those main battle tanks to survive as long as possible. Let's get back to the spotting. Well, there are two ways how to spot. First and uh, very useful for beginners would be stationary spotting, which means Simply keep your distance and spot the enemies by using your high view range. And remember, whenever you are stationary, your camo rating is at its highest value. You can simply spot enemies from far, mark them and shoot your anti-tank guided missiles at them. However, I would avoid to shoot out the cannons from far distance, because even if you're not spotted, uh, experienced players will see from where you shoot at, because simply your shells are visible from distance. But keep in mind that whenever you shoot, your camo rating drops. The second way how to spot your enemies is on the move spotting. Well, this option is difficult and you have to know the maps when you do so and also you have to learn your vehicle. But when you got used to it, well, it's very fun. These tactics are best for recon vehicles. Okay, so let's get to the upgrades. From commanders I use Sabrina Washington on all, all my armored fighting vehicles with no exceptions. From consumables, most of the times I'm using uh, spare parts and repair kit and also energy drink. Retrofits depends of your gameplay. I would suggest that you focus on upgrading the view range. For stationary spotting I would just simply go until 525 meters, since I find it uh, the maximum view range in the game. Your current view range of your vehicle you can see on your vehicle details. And for stationary spotting you have to count this together with the upgrade what armor fighting vehicles get. For example, in details you see 510 meters and that is a base view range together with commander's bonus and also retrofit's bonus. Means that with upgrade together you get 590 meters of view range when you are stationary. And this means that you get a higher view range when you are stationary than the maximum view range of the game and that is great, because simply then you take away enemy's camo rating. For recon vehicles I try to get my view range as close as possible to 525 meters by using retrofits not paying attention on the upgrade what armor fighting vehicles get because with recon vehicles I mostly spot on the move and that simply allows me to spot enemies easier for the other retrofits well it's your own choice choose whatever suits you best for your game style so this was my guide covering the armored fighting vehicles and explaining some basics of uh, view range and spotting and I hope it was helpful to all new armored warfare players thanks for watching everyone